Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek, a very late news segment for August 3rd. It was a long, holy crap, long day, extremely bagged, but some news items I want to get to. Tomorrow I sleep in and I get to enjoy the city here with my wife. We are going to uh, tour around, check out that Broadway play, uh, look for some game stores, and a few of you mentioned Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum having a virtual reality display. So we are going to check that out. Uh, we may do that tomorrow or Friday, but for sure it's going to happen. So thank you guys for pointing that out. Can't wait to check it out. And uh, if there's anything else you can think of, so I've nailed the beer thing down. That is bagged <laughs> and purchased. But uh, still interested in checking out uh, any kind of electronic stores. There's obviously game stops around, but if there's any kind of uh, specialty stores, you know, either dealing with old consoles or anything like that of a gaming nature, uh, let me know in the comments below. Love to check it out while I'm still here for the next couple days. Now, let's get to the news. The uh, Oculus folks have a yearly conference and it's called oculus connect it's intended for the oculus uh devs and what they what they've been trying to do is basically have the event become a mecca for virtual reality devs from around the world and i have a problem with that in as much as look you can pretend your competitors don't exist. And to some extent, you need to think that way, right? But it just kind of smells of the kind of exclusivity that, you know, we've condemned others for. And here's Oculus going at it alone, acting as if the competitors don't exist. And I honestly think it would be not only much more beneficial to oculus to open the doors of this event to everyone doing virtual reality but that objective that they have about it becoming truly a mecca for virtual reality devs could actually be realized right now it's very niche and it is very much uh, an oculus event and you can call it whatever you want they actually choose to call it Oculus Connect, and this is Oculus Connect 3 because it's the third one that they're having. But at the end of the day, it's still an exclusive Oculus-only show. And I just think they would be much more effective and much more beneficial to them and the entire virtual reality industry if they made it more inclusive. They don't owe that to anyone, absolutely. That's not where I'm getting at, but they would be that much more successful, I think, if they did open it up uh, to others, right? It, you know, you can look at it from the whole DRM point of view. We won't even get into that. But if they truly believed what they said once upon a time about DRM, about open source, then this is the perfect event, in my opinion, to highlight that, highlight exactly that, and make yourself, you know, stand up to what you had originally said and be an example of that. But I don't think that's going to happen, which is a shame because this is really, in my opinion, a golden opportunity for these guys to be much more inclusive and match what they originally said, right? Now, speaking of competitors, HTC Vive for a second fiscal quarter in a row has experienced losses. They had losses in the first quarter totaling 65 million US dollars. This second quarter, they experienced a loss of 97 and a half million dollars. So significant losses. And one thing to keep in mind, these because if you look at the timing, this was when they launched the Vive product. Now, these numbers are based primarily 
on the cell phone portion of the business, right? So really doesn't have a direct bearing on what they've managed to do because other than some initial hiccups, you could argue that they had their supply chain in much better order. Customer service is a whole different story, but their supply chain was in much better order um, early in, right? Earlier, certainly than Oculus uh, Rift and its supply chain. So is it going to be enough? Are they going to be able to, you know, ride this to victory the third and fourth quarter? Well, what do we have coming up? We have their third quarter, which is essentially the holiday season, and then the fourth fiscal quarter, January, February, March, which traditionally are going to be a bit slower. So I don't think they can erase the 150 million of losses and break even, but I think they can come close. And what would be a huge positive for them is for this holiday season to make inroads on that show some profit, right? If they can go loss, loss, and then, okay, maybe still have loss, but closer to breaking even, that's going to look much better. And it's definitely going to give investors, devs, <laughs> and consumers more confidence than that HTC can indeed ride this out. So be interesting to see where they come in third quarter. Those will be the numbers that I think are are going to be the most telling, right, of how they're going to do long term. Now, uh, Intel has been teasing via some tweets uh, depth sensing HTC Vive for the developer conference. And it's a unicorn shaped modification that is basically a series of cameras and it allows the user to sense the depth of objects. Now, the author contacted the engineer behind it, and the engineer wasn't willing to completely officially go on record, but did indicate that there's a possibility that it can track hand movements as well as IR tracked controllers, IR meaning infrared controllers. And there's speculation beyond that, not from them themselves, but leading up to this and with all these variables in play, that it's simply a camera, a true camera, that would allow a user to basically sit in a chair, eat some food, and have visual clarity, right? A real snapshot, rather than the predator-style vision that we have now. Now, Samsung has announced several updates to its smartphone-powered Gear VR headset, I mentioned a few of those last night uh, in yesterday's news, and we talked about, uh, you know, their field of view only being four degrees more. Well, we're really going to see what they're capable of, like with HTC, from now to the holiday season, because I've oft I wonder with Samsung. Are they truly content with just going the phone route or do they see themselves as an HMD player? Because certainly they have the monopoly on the screens. They could easily come out with their own version of an HMD unit. Are they content to just partner, right? To continue to partner and limit virtual reality to their mobile phones? That's I would love to see the blueprint of what these guys are planning, what Samsung is planning moving forward, because even though it would mean a third player, direct player, if they were to get into manufacturing their own HMD, I think they could really uh, force it competitive and a three-way race would just be ultimately be better than a two-way race and could force some prices down from the competitors. and at least start a trend coming in towards the holiday season that would see some lower, more realistic prices. The kind of prices they need to really get the traction because this, and I mentioned this in the earlier item, this is the important part of the year. This whole run up into and including the holiday season to 
really make some additional positive inroads to virtual reality. Just end the year with a bang and go into 2017 with all the optimism for the new technology coming around the corner, the 4Ks, the wireless functionality, the haptic feedback, the different locomotion systems that we've talked about, right? But before we kind of rush ahead of ourselves, that needs to stabilize. And we just need to sell more damn units, right? Uh, a couple hundred thousand isn't bad, but I would love to see globally a million by the end of the holiday season. A million minimum, all players. So be interesting to see how that unfolds. I will be back tomorrow, guys, much earlier. Not being quite as tired as I am now, because like I said, that was a very long conference today. These things are never exciting at the best of times, and at the worst of times, they can be painful. But it's over. It's relaxed time. I will try to get tomorrow's video out quite a bit earlier. As always, guys, until the next time, cheers.